There's our huge convention trade show show truck. This is our titanium series trash spring cleaning truck. Uh, this has a 17 stage wastewater recycling filtration system. We're mounted on a properly street legal NRR uh, truck there, steel framed uh, platform truck body extended frame up and under the truck here There's, this is not a mickey mouse setup with aluminum truck body this is all steel doors there's six doors on this truck double doors on each side we've got this uh filtration system and then the wastewater recycling system plus all the other stages that make up the 17 stage filtration system recycling unit we have a tremendous luck throughout california with this uh florida michigan Texas, Indiana, Wisconsin, you name it, Utah, Montana, Oregon, um, kind of the hot spots of the environmental uh, compliancy out there. We got the dual bin grabber. We can do barrels. We can do trash carts. So this will do anything from 32 gallon trash carts to 106. We got a heavier duty hydraulic lift system, remote control lifter on this one. It's an upgrade feature. But we have a key fob that actually allows us to go up, down, in and out on the arms and grab the carts. It's great for a presentation when you're trying to impress upon a waste company's waste facility. This truck also is equipped with a retractable reel, 50 foot high pressure retractable reel, 50 foot retractable reel for a chemical sanitizing chemical system. We got a full soft wash chemical spraying system on here. This truck is equipped with a roof because this one's sold and going to Wisconsin. So they can run throughout the winter time. Look at this package here. We've got additional, we had, remember, two reels on the back. Four more uh, reels here, inlet reel, high pressure reel, chemical soft wash, chemical spraying system reel, 100 foot vacuum hose reel. This is overkill. That's what our, <laughs> our Mickey Mouse competitors say because it's like, hey, you know what? I got a guy locally, he didn't even realize he did it, but he ended up doing an extra 78000 in soft washing right here in Michigan that he didn't even think about. <laughs> it was just added revenue stream profit center. Power washing uh, was even much, much higher there. And also trash bin cleaning. He was able to do 500 trash bins in a single day at a waste facility. This is the new 2025 NRR Isuzu packages, 19,500 pound rated, off steel upper body with six swing out doors. Oh, I was going to show you this new for this show truck and for beyond. We actually have incorporated by request. Oh, these doors can actually be driven with the doors open. So if you're doing a mile to sidewalk, etc. Um, you're able to, uh, so I'm not going to lock it up right now. It's in the back there and I'm holding on to this camera. We actually have door locks on the back side. We also have another door lock on the inside. So this can actually be locked up and secured now. Also makes it, uh, uh, that much more level of security. We run an aluminum hopper. What we don't do is haul wastewater in an open hopper on the back of a truck. It's an $8,000 DOT fine. Uh, so what we do is we pump that wastewater through a thousand micron uh, screen filter, hydrocarbon absorber, five micron uh, discharge uh, filter on the discharge side. That now turns that entire rear hopper into a wastewater um, sediment tank or a solid separation tank. Then it goes through the filtration system, back to the waste tank from the waste tank, turn on the wastewater recycling system when you need to, and you're able to recycle and reuse the water over and over again. Oh, here we go, look at the left. hydraulic. That's all controlled by a key fob. Imagine coming out and having a waste company come out or city or county do that, so. We are uh, level. This is the diesel powered um, truck. We do have gasoline powered. We also have some trucks available. Our power wash rigs that we can ship to Canada, uh, California. 
California people are looking to get in the industry, you got to take note. Any power washer that's been manufactured in 2024 and beyond can only be 14 horsepower, no bigger. So if you got a manufacturer shipping 22 horse Hondas or anything out to you, it's a $10,000 fine for the manufacturer. Uh, shops are get, I think they're getting rewarded because um, basically if you get out there and you do have a 2024 hot water power washer that is bigger than 14 horse, um, uh, it's a $10,000 fine for the vendor. I think it might be the same for you, but I, they're not going to allow you to run and operate that. Just to let you know, I have three California rated 25 horse hot water, 3,500 PSI 8 gallon hot water machines still available, limited, uh, first come, first serve. And then we do diesel powered rigs that we are able to go with the full power and be able to sell the diesel currently. But otherwise, any other system cannot be over 14 horse. So keep that in mind. Give us a call. We still can give you uh, almost twice about horsepower with a few we got left. I'm sitting on those. I don't care if somebody else wants them. Uh, so we can make the California edition um, insane out there in California that they would do that. It's literally um, would drop the cleaning speed by about 80% slower going to the 14 horses. So give us a call. Trash Wing Cleaners Direct. We're also known as Pressure Cleaners Direct. Here's our information here and QR code. Kind of got a drop shadow on that one. Uh, let me go to the other side here. We'll get better on this. And uh, about to hear from you. 877-699-0755. TrashmanCleanerDirect.com. We also do have interior lights on this that light up. And we are Eagle approved, which is uh, part of the EPA uh, District 5, the toughest district. We get to clients in California and they're like, holy cow, you guys got approved in District 5. Michigan's surrounded by four great lakes. We've had all kinds of brownfields and other things from the industrial manufacturing up here. here. So we cover the basis and we've never had anybody not have uh, approvals in their city and county throughout, you know, uh, California, Utah, or, oh, they're the cool looking one too. Diamond truck, that one's so going off the door too. That one's got front doors, no roof, it's going to a hot climb. We have a bunch of other builds going on right now. Uh, three more titanium trailer than a diamond at the end. Look at this. We actually do graphics and artwork on this. This one's going to Detroit. So you can tell the graphics. Look at how amazing everything is on this. This has a roof also. So they can work during the winter time. We also have our compact trailer, which has inlet rail, high pressure rail, soft wash chemical spraying system, rooftop roof exhaust system, fire hydrant fill kits, um, double doors on the front. Um, the biggest hot water power washer in the industry, a 33 horse hot water machine. 3700 watt onboard generator stainless steel frame uh, we also have the uh, interior light in here and oh, it's still got tools in here um, wastewater filtration dual tanks filtration unit and that 33 horse hot water allow you to do over 500 trash bins in a single day at a waste facility, not maintenance cans, keeping clean cans clean, real uh, industrial cleaning applications. We can uh, average 40 curbside uh, first time canned uh, per hour. Even if you charge $35 for two cans, yearly contract on a monthly basis, your first cleaning is actually the cleaning that takes the longest time. 
So if you think about it this way, that is $17.50 each. Bin, two can, three cans per house, but still running 40 an hour, $700 an hour income. Um, we run, the way we're doing that is that biggest hot water power washer in the industry, the largest and highest pressure rated uh, cleaning heads. Um, the way we configure this, this truck trailer will roll up with a total of 540 gallons of water in the morning. You split the tank so one becomes a wastewater tank, the other one supply tank. You run that down for about 30 bins. And then from there, you, when needed, you turn on your wastewater uh, recycling um, system. And at that point, you end up being able to to recycle and reuse the water over and over again until it ultimately evaporates as steam and you're processing your own wastewater. It's odorless wastewater. Your maintenance on the filters will cost you about $2 a day. So they last about six months, you know, when you're really booming and getting deep in business in the beginning to be even less money than that. And that cost is gonna save you between 3000 and six thousand thousand dollars a month on dump fees right now liquid industrial byproduct is what the wastewater is classified i will send you epa documentation proving that and if you think it's gray water you've talked to some of the couple con men in our industry uh, i've offered them a thousand dollar reward and every one of their customers a thousand dollar reward if you can come up with a do a hundred filthy trash bins first time cleaning you take that wastewater out of the hopper full of garbage, kitty litter, fecal matter from human and, uh, and the children, adult diapers, uh, kitty litter, pet waste from the yard waste. That's how biohazardous wastewater. Anything that has fecal matter, poo, and crap in there is all biohazardous. You'll never ever be able to do this. I've told this a thousand times to to people who call in or customers or prospects. Um, no one's been able to get a gray water sample yet and no one will ever be able to get one. Unless you fill your supply tank with gray water, that's the only time that'll be there. But after you clean the cleaning process, it's not, it is not legal for you to take 500 gallons a day to some unexpected car wash owner that has a self-serve bay that you dump 500 gallons a day, 5,000 gallons in a week and a half that and you force him to spend up to a buck a gallon to haul your wastewater kitty litter sand dirt and you're going to stink up that wash bay like a sewer treatment plant uh you know spilled out onto the the roadways our you know septic truck i mean it is a bad idea to think you can go and trespass on someone else's private property dump your liquid industrial byproduct full of sand dirt oil grease if they have oil water separator you're going to blow up that thing you're going to own 15 20 thousand dollars to replace this oil water separator i can explain how they work and why they get damaged by kitty litter that turns the concrete in water uh sand dirt food waste solid waste it's not what those systems are for they're for rinsing off cars uh, in a car wash. Um, RV parks and campgrounds are another illegal dump site. A guy in New Jersey got busted dumping at a truck stop RV drain. I mean, if you go into a truck stop to dump your wastewater in front of every state trooper that pulls in there, every highway patrol, your DOT agents going in and out to go take a bathroom break or get a soda or pop or have lunch or breakfast i mean that's how that guy got his thirteen thousand dollar fine in new jersey he was caught illegally dumping his wastewater and he was told by a con man down in florida that he could do that and he did and he realized after a thirteen thousand dollar fine that the guy was full of shit down there and ended up costing him that not only did it cost him that once he got on the hook on that he was spending six thousand dollars a month four to six thousand dollars a month to dump his wastewater legally until he purchased our truck the same as the truck out front outside there and now he had zero dump fee cost on that rig he still had the other one at the backup so he still spends the extra money as needed uh, on that 
And honestly, if you're willing to spend 6000 a month on dump fees and your cost for your equipment and vehicle and fuel and gas, it's going to be hard for you to make it. I mean, he had the big contract and you could afford it, able to do it, but now with our system, it's uh, two bucks a day. He's a happy camper. Now, you know, our clients can invest in new equipment versus the cost of dumping. So give us a call. We'll give you more feedback and info. Once again, here is our contact info, uh, trashbincleanersdirect.com or pressurecleanersdirect.com. Thank you for watching the video. Like and share and give us a call. We'll give you all the uh, details on what you honest to God need to know about the industry. We're not going to fluff it up and put you in environmental harm's way. Uh, you know, you can see here we've got uh, a ton of power washers here, a bunch, back wall full of them, a bunch of lifters, and then we, this is just also overflow. We have a 47,000 square foot manufacturing facility. No one is bigger, no one has better or faster equipment than we do. You can see we're, we're deep into what we build here.